hello there. Today let's mind map. Inventory management. So what are the costs associated with inventory? Inventory costs includes Purchase price Reorder costs such as Cost of delivery of purchase items Cost associated with placing order Cost associated with checking the inventory after delivery Inventory holding costs such as the capital tied up Insurance costs Cost of warehousing Obsolescence, deterioration and thief Shortage costs, stock out costs The ultimate aim of an entity is to minimize these costs There are different methods used by an entity to minimize annual inventory costs Economic order quantity, EOQ EOQ is a mathematical model used to calculate the quantity to order each time an order is made, in order to minimize the annual inventory costs Assumptions of EOQ There are no bulk purchases discount. All units purchased cost the same unit price. The order lead time, reorder period, the time between placing an order and receiving delivery, is constant and known. Annual demand is constant throughout the year. Based on the assumptions. The relevant costs are the annual holding cost per item per annum and the annual ordering costs. The following formula is used to calculate the EOQ. Other methods for annual inventory cost minimization includes Just in time ABC planning Inventory reorder level and other warning levels For annual inventory costs minimization it would be better if the entity known about its inventory reorder levels. Reorder levels can be obtained in two circumstances, when Certain lead time and constant demand Uncertain demand and supply lead time Certain lead time and constant demand Reorder level is calculated as demand for material per day, week, multiply by, lead time in days, weeks Uncertain demand and supply lead time When the demand and supply lead time are uncertain the entity should calculate inventory at three levels the reorder level Maximum inventory level Minimum inventory level The reorder level Reorder level is calculated as maximum demand per day, week multiplied by maximum supply lead time. Safety inventory If supply lead time and demand is uncertain there should be a safety level of inventory, also called safety stock, buffer stock. It is actually the average amount of inventory held in excess of average requirements. It can be found as, maximum demand per day, week multiplied by maximum supply lead time, minus average demand multiplied by average lead time. Maximum inventory level. Inventory held above this would incur extra holding cost without adding benefit to company. It can be found as, Reorder level plus reorder quantity, minus, maximum demand per day, week multiplied by maximum supply lead time. Minimum inventory level. When inventory falls below this amount, management should check that a new supply will be delivered before all the inventory is used up. It can be found as Reorder level, minus, average demand per day, week multiplied by average supply lead time. Costing of issues from inventory and inflation As a general rule, during a period of high inflation the different methods of inventory valuation will give significantly different values for cost of sales and closing inventory. The two commonly used inventory valuation methods are First in, first out, and Weighted average cost method First in, first out With first in First out during a period of high inflation cost of sales will be lower than current replacement cost of materials used and the closing inventory should be close to current value, since they are the units bought most recently. The inverse is also correct when prices are falling. Weighted average cost With weighted average cost during a period of high inflation, the cost of sales will be higher and value of closing inventory lower than first in, first out valuation.
Thanks for watching. More stuff coming soon.